Thank you for joining us on this Monday of the Word of Encouragement. Today I'd like to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 3. And in this passage, the apostle is dealing with the problem of carnality in the church there at Corinth, and that was causing division, it was causing people to try to exalt themselves and get a better position within the church. And in that context, he reminds them that the church is uh, God's work and that uh, we are the body of Christ and that the Spirit of God works within the church. And then we read in verse 21, Therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. Now, there's so much to this context, but let me just pull out a concept here when it comes to staying encouraged in the things of the Lord. We live in a world in which Satan uses the pride of life to capture the hearts and minds of men and women, especially men. And so the whole idea of being a success, to be admired, to be liked, all of this is a very powerful draw for people. Certainly it keeps uh, folks from coming to know the Lord. It's one of the ways that Satan blinds people. But it's also a problem for believers because the pride of life is something that's just natural. Satan uh, prayed on that there with Eve and the fact that you can be as God when he uh, tempted her to eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So it's always right there. And the wisdom of the world will cause us to think that um, glorying in ourselves is that which is really good. Now, down deep, every person knows that. They try to be humble, but they're living for that. The Bible makes it very clear that there's no need for us to have to do that because everything's ours. In other words, all that is important is the possession of a believer. Uh, we have all that we need for eternity. We have all that we need for life now. And I love the ending of this chapter, verse 23, and ye are Christ and Christ is God's. In other words, we are in Christ, we are his possession, he is in God, we have all that matters in life because we have him, and uh, we have everything for things present or things to come, as verse 22 talks about. My point is simply this, is that we do not need to look for something else to make life worthwhile. Instead, we need to let God work in our hearts and gain more and more of an understanding of the Lord and understanding what his will is for us and to seek his approval and to seek his purpose and to glorify him and be free from self, be free from all of this need to be successful and to be approved and to be thought highly of, to be liked. Uh, that can be totally taken away from us if we will walk with God. And let me just say, you can live in perpetual encouragement if you have that kind of freedom. The only reason we get discouraged is we don't get what we want. But when we want the glory of God, when we want his will, when we want to know him, well, then everything changes. So I encourage you today to realize that what mankind is striving after, we don't need to worry about. We want to do a great job for the Lord, but it needs to be for his glory. And if we'll do that, we'll stay encouraged.